the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. Grandpa! No! Be careful! Grandpa, stop! Busy day. Oh, where's the tape? Has anyone seen my hat? Oh, there it is. Dad, how do you spell congratulations? All this was in aid of a very special occasion. Ta da! Oh, Grandpa, you look wonderful! I'd better make myself look wonderful too. <laughs> We've all got to look wonderful. This is going to be a wonderful wedding. <laughs> and whose wonderful wedding was it? Mr. Whoops's wonderful wedding. And who was he marrying? Miss Smiley, scrumptious Miss Smiley. Her peacock salads are a healthy treat, but a chocolate sundaes taste so sweet. When it comes to puddings, I must confess, you just can't beat her summer mess. There's no one I read as highly as Miss Smiley. Smiley, Miss Smiley. I'm so excited. <laughs> Jemima was so excited because she was going to be a bridesmaid. Mum, please could you do my hair first? Good idea, Jemima. Then I'll have plenty of time to do Miss Smiley's when she comes over. I'm just going to drop my things on sticks over at Miss Smiley's cafe. Jason, there's another tray in the kitchen. You can come with me. Uh, did Miss Smiley actually ask you to make things on sticks? No, I'm just helping her out. Which is more than you ever do, Grandpa. Loretta helping Miss Smiley, it'll be a disaster. And Miss Smiley mustn't have a disaster on her wedding day. I better come too. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know what happens when Grandpa puts on his magic shrinking cap? He can chuff around in my Sunny Sands train. He can jump into my toy car and make it go. He can fly in my toy plane. Often, I have no idea where he's got to. And today, he was here. Just cover me with a napkin. OK. I was sure Great Aunt Loretta would be back because she'd been waiting for me to catch her up. And sure enough... Will you stop lingering? Ah, uh, Grandpa's gone for a little lie down, I see. He always disappears when there's work to be done. Come on now, get a move on. Great Aunt Loretta was right. Grandpa was having a little lie down on the tray of things on sticks. The cafe had been specially decorated for the wedding and Miss Smiley was just finishing off her wonderful wedding cake. Where do you want the things on sticks? <laughs> I made them myself. There's spicy sausage and banana, there's pilchard and marshmallow and there's garlic and bubblegum. Try one. While Miss Smiley was looking at the things on sticks, I quickly took the napkin off Grandpa. He stood up and hid behind a plate of party sandwiches. Uh, thanks, uh, but I'm not really hungry at the moment. Oh, well, that's just because you're nervous. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm here to help. Just then, I saw Mr Whoops. There's Mr Whoops! What? Oh, no, he can't come in here. Oh, it's bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. Get rid of him as quick as you can. Come on, now we'll go, oh, we'll go and hide in the... Great Aunt Loretta never says the word toilets out loud because she thinks it's rude. Miss Smiley, scrumptious Miss Smiley, what? Mr. Cooks knocked the little groom off the cake. How could I be so clumsy? Oh, oh no, oh, oh no. Just then I saw Grandpa. He wanted to talk to me. The groom's over there on the floor. But he needs a new head. Can you make another one quick? I'll try. Oh my God. At that 
moment, Great Aunt Loretta came back in. Mr. Whoops, oh. you shouldn't still be here. You've got to go. Oh, I've done a terrible, terrible thing. I've knocked the little groom off our wonderful wedding cake. Great Aunt Loretta looked at the cake. No, you didn't. Grandpa had stepped in just in time. I was sure I... How strange. He must have got back on the cake all by himself. Oh, Mr. Whoops, you're just a big bag of nerves. <laughs> just like Miss Smiley. It's a good job I'm here to help keep everybody calm. Now then, off you go. Oh. Back to the toy shop. Oh, Miss Smiley, you can come out now. So, I put Grandpa in my pocket and the groom back on the cake. Everything's all right. Now just keep calm. Oh, look at the time. You've still got to have your hair done and your makeup. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. oh, I need my case. Oh, right, I'm coming. There we go. Right. Oh, you're lingering again, Jason. So we all went back to our house. Right, now, I've got Before long, Miss Smiley was ready to have her hair and makeup done. Grandpa had jumped out of my pocket and was up on a shelf. I think it might be easier if we do your hair and makeup in the kitchen. Mum, my bun has fallen down! Oh, don't worry, Jamal. At that moment, Great Aunt Loretta appeared. No need to panic. I am here to help. Now, why don't you do the bridesmaid? I'll do the bride. I'm an expert at hair and makeup, I am. Come on, Miss Smiley. Make it into the kitchen. Now, come along, Jemima. Let's do your hair upstairs. Come on. I'll just ring Mr. Whoops, see how he's getting on. Ring! Where is the ring? Mr. Whoops was very nervous. Here it is. Sing a ding ding, what a beautiful whoop! The ring went flying and landed in the shape sorter. Help! Help! Whoever you are! What's the matter, Mr. Whoops? I've lost the ring! You've lost the ring! I'll be right over. <laughs> Don't tell Miss Smiley. I don't want to worry her. OK, I hope you find it. Grandpa had jumped down onto the sofa. This is terrible. I'd better go and help. You stay here and deal with Loretta. But Grandpa... I won't be long. Before I could stop him, Grandpa ran to my toy plane and jumped in. Then he flew up the stairs and out of my bedroom window. Grandpa flew in while Dad and Mr. Whoops were still looking for the ring. Back at home, Great Alvaretta had made a terrible mess of Miss Smiley's hair. No, I think it just needs a little extra something. Oh, well, I think you've done enough, Loretta. Wait, I've got it! Things on sticks, they'll just look wonderful in your hair. Good job I kept some for myself. In my hair! The no! The no! I had to find a way to stop Great Aunt Loretta. Suddenly she went flying, and so did her hat. Wolfie didn't waste a second. You got me out! Come back here, you wretched dog! Oh, come back here, you other my little dog! Miss Smiley grabbed her chance. Thanks, Jason. She Jason. ran upstairs to find Mum. And I ran upstairs to get changed. At the toy shop, Mr. Whoops and Dad were still looking for the ring. <laughs> Grandpa was looking for the ring too. And suddenly he saw it in the shape sorter. In he went. We can't give up yet, Mr. Whoops. The ring must be somewhere. <laughs> Grandpa had the ring. Now all he had to do was roll it onto the floor to attract Dad's attention. Look. The ring. I'm sure it wasn't there a moment ago. I wonder how it got there. Who cares? We found it. Mm. Sing a ding ding, what a beautiful ring. I've got to go and fetch the bride. I'll see you at the cafe. Grandpa had to get home before Dad did. So he jumped off the counter, got into the plane, and out he flew. Meanwhile, Great Aunt Loretta was trying to get her hat back. Oh. Oh, this is all Grandpa's fault. I'm going to wake him now. No, don't do that. Oh, look, my hat. <laughs> 
I'll get your hat for you. Oh, thank you, Jason. You're a marvel. I'll deal with you later. Great Aunt Loretta rushed off to the toilet to put her hat back on, just as Grandpa flew down the stairs. Grandpa took off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. And we all went off to the cafe. The wedding was about to begin. First, Mr Whoops arrived. Oh, look, it's Mr Whoops, he's here! <laughs> Mr. Whoops proudly held up the ring. <laughs> Zing a ding ding! What a beautiful ring! <laughs> <laughs> then Miss Smiley arrived. Here she is. She looked very beautiful and very smiley. to be a really wonderful wedding. I smiled at Grandpa and he smiled at me. And I knew that was how it was always going to be. Me, my Grandpa and teamwork. In Chateau Shampoo, there's Boris Boo Hoo. And Boris too. Boris is trouble, you wait and see. But they don't care, they love to be hairy. Yum. <laughs> Hairy pear pie. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. So, made up your mind, Quiff? Yeah. The best thing about Hairyland is that everything's hairy. <laughs> yes. How did you know that? Because it's my best thing, too. Oh. <laughs> Do you know, it's so hairy in Hairyland, we even have a museum of all things hairy. Hey, Wiki. Do you remember that time, Boris Boohoo? <gasps> of course I do. I'll tell them. Oh. One day, we were flying around Hairyland looking for adventure. Picky, popper, picky, popper, picky, popper, picky, 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 popper me round Hairyland. Round Hairyland. I am quick. And I am Wiggy with, with a hairy fairy band. Ma and Pa Ha Ha were relaxing on bushy beds when we landed in the Ha Ha Hairy Garden. Just then, Nana Ha Ha arrived, pushing her hairy wheeler. <laughs> Nana had been busy creating a new piece of art. Well, you know what Nana's like. Nana's a hairy land artist. Nana can draw like a dream. She can spray, she can glue. She can do collage too. And sometimes she paints with ice cream. Yes, ice cream! Nana's always <laughs> laughing. But 
bird if she goes too far. She lifts off her toes and up she goes. Yes, up goes Nana. Up goes Nana. Up goes Nana. Ha ha. Ilakagoo. Nana had made something for Ma. Mama. <laughs> she whipped off the cloth and showed them this. Yeah, looks just like him, only hairier. <laughs> Ma loved it, especially the hairy bits. It was just what she'd always wanted. Yes, this was the day Nana made a pa for Ma. But up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone else had something new. Can you guess who? Boris Boohoo, what's he gonna do? Who? Boris had been shopping in Hairytown and he bought this. A new hairy high hat. <laughs> Boise asked Boris if he could try it on. And Boris said, yes, as long as he was really, really careful. But just then, someone came around the corner. Minnie, ha ha. <laughs> and you know what happens when Boise sees Minnie. <laughs> Boris was cross. His precious hairy high hat had nearly got spoilt. Minnie had come to see if Boise wanted to take Chihuahua -ha, ha for a walk. And of course, Boise did. So off they went. <laughs> Boris loved his hairy high hat so much, he didn't want anything bad to happen to it. It was perfect on his head, of course. But where would he keep it when he wasn't wearing it? He needed a hat stand. So Boris picked up his hairy stary and had a good look all around Hairyland. And that's when he saw the model of Pa. <laughs> what a fantastic hairy hat stand the model of Pa would make. Perfect for his hairy high hat. Boris wanted Ma's Pa and he wanted it now. So he needed... a plan! He needs a plan, a plan, he needs a plan as quick as he can He needs to plan a big surprise He needs to plan his next scan What'll it be? What'll it be? What'll it be? Ba -da -ba -da! Larry Lanky Locks, the owner of the Museum of All Things Hairy Meanwhile Back in the Ha Ha Hairy Garden, the Ha Ha Hairies were having such a great time with the model of Pa, but they didn't see they had a visitor. They were amazed to see Larry Lankylocks from the Museum of All Things Hairy. Why is Boris pretending to be the owner of the museum? No idea, but I think we're about to find out. Larry Lankylocks pointed to the model and Ma said that Nana had made it and it looks just like Pa. He told them he thought it was fantastic. In fact, he loved it. Especially the hairy bits. He wanted to put it in his museum of all things hairy. Nana loved the idea of her model of Pa in the museum of all things hairy. So did Ma. And so did Pa. <laughs> But should they let it go? Yes, said Pa. And they all agreed. So they gave Ma's Pa to Larry Lankylocks. Oh, Nitz, he's got it. He's got it. Don't worry, Wiggy. It'll turn out OK in the end. Now Boris had his hairy hat stand. He wanted to get back to Chateau Shampoo. But Ma wouldn't let him. Larry Lankylocks couldn't leave without a cup of hairy pear juice. Ma went inside to get some hairy pear juice. 
Papa told Larry Lankylocks to relax. <laughs> and Nana took off his hat so he could lie back and enjoy himself. <laughs> Boris was stuck. <laughs> See, things are looking up already. Mm, he's still got Ma's pa, though. <laughs> Ma came outside with the hairy pear juice, and just then, Boise and Minnie arrived with Chihuahua. Chihuahua knew that Larry Lankylocks was Boris. <laughs> but Boise didn't recognise his dad, although he did say that his dad had a hat just like that. I don't have a hat. Uh, but Chihuahua had got the hat, and he ran with the hat, and Boris chased him. <laughs> oh, I love Chihuahua. Go, boy, go! <laughs> then Chihuahua dropped the hat, and Boris did this. <laughs> Boris's hairy high hat wasn't a high hat anymore. It was a low hat. All squished. <laughs> Larry Lankylocks was furious. He was so furious, he told them he was going back to his museum of all things hairy right now. And did Larry Lankylocks want to take the model of Pa with him? No, he did not. Yay! Everything turned out OK. <laughs> told you it would. The Ha Ha Hairies thought that Larry Lankylocks was very odd indeed. But never mind. Ma still had her pa. And now they had a funny hat to put on him as well. So everyone felt happy again. Oh. It was time to celebrate the day Nana made a pa for Ma. The only way the Ha Ha Hairies know how. Shake it up high and you shake it to the ground And you shake it to the side and you shake it, shake around Then you shake it, shake your fingers and you shake it, shake your feet And you do the hairy shake to the hairy shake it bit with me Do the hairy shake it with me you wanna shake, you wanna shake, 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 shake. Get ready to shake, 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 shake with me. Do the hairy shake with me. Yeah. Do the hairy shake with me. Yeah. Do the hairy shake with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Chihuahua. He's so smart. Yep, the dog saved the day. <gasps> I've just had a brilliant idea, Quiff. What? Let's go to the Museum of All Things Hairy. What, now? Of course now. OK, grab your helmet. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, take off! <laughs> 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 I wonder if they have models of hairy fairies at the Museum of All Things Hairy. Nobody knows about us. <laughs> the ha ha Harry's. Oh, happy, happy, happy me. <sighs> Tomorrow we're to wed. Horatio. No man could surely happier be unless I had her money instead. <sighs> When Captain Pugwash decided to marry a wealthy widow, he took a room in an inn on shore, conveniently close to the church, and at a safe distance from the black pig. For the crew were far from pleased. I reckon we ought to kidnap him like, hijack him before he gets itched. Impossible, Pirate Barnabas. We ain't even been asked to the ceremony. Hey, what was it he said? Not smart enough to meet all his posh new friends? Imagine it, a woman on board. Yes, Mrs. Pugwash. No, Mrs. Pugwash. It'll all be over in an hour, Pirate B. Let's get some sleep. 
can't sleep. Not with them blooming bells. The bells, why, of course. Uh, but you'll have to hurry. Now listen. Half an hour to go and I'll be a married man. Can't say I much relish the prospect. On the other hand, just think of all that lovely money. That's better. Now you're beginning to look the part. Put your hat on, Willie. Hey, I'm almost ready to get married myself. Uh, oh, uh, oh, crippling crayfish. Shall I never get this cravat tied? Help, here comes my future brother-in-law. Oh, hey, St. Captain, the bride arrives in ten minutes. There now, every inch the gallant bridegroom, eh? How goes it, brother-in-law? My sister is even now arriving. Is she by Neptune? And uh, have you the ring? The ring? Where did I put it? Hurry, she's making for the church. Uh, I have it, I have it. Oh, let us away then. Oh, better late than never. Well, be bridegroom. Do you know, but here comes bride. Be no beauty, be she? Nay, but worth a fortune, they say. And you'll be best man and groom. I say, what do you think you're doing? Put me down! <laughs> Come back! Come back! Bring back that bridegroom! But it was too late. By now, the pirates had got their captain into the dinghy. Very soon they had him aboard and the black pig was on its way to the open sea. Captain Pugwash was furious. Rascals, rapscallions, I'll keelhaul the lot of you. I'll string you from the yardarm. I'll... <laughs> all that money. It's all right, Captain. The lady's luggage came aboard a quarter of an hour ago. And a jewel case. Jewelry? Dolloping dolphins, diamonds, pearls. I'm rich, rich, and I'm still single. Well done, me hearties. Yeah, but it do seem a bit hard on the bride, like. Lost her buddy, lost her abbey, lost a lot, poor lady. Poor lady, nothing. If you ask me, she got off cheap. I mean to say, whoever would want to be married to the captain all their life, eh? <laughs> 